Hey Golden Bears, I'm Mark with the Financial Aid and Scholarships Office. We hope that you and your family are safe and healthy during this challenging time. Our entire team is working behind the scenes to answer your questions and guide you through the financial aid process. One of our most common questions we received this year is, my family's income has decreased significantly since completing my aid application. How can I get more financial aid to help pay for my expenses? We recognize that your family's financial situation or circumstances may have changed since the previous tax year or as a result of the COVID-19 health crisis. In this video, we will share information about our expected family contribution or EFC appeal process. We will share resources and an online tool to help you and your family estimate how a change in income might impact your awards. So let's get started. It is important that you are reviewing your tasks in Cal Central on a regular basis. One of these tasks could be verification. The U.S. Department of Education or the California Student Aid Commission may select you for a process called verification. This doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with your application. It just means that they want us to document the information you reported on your aid application as accurate. If you have been selected for verification, please know that this task will need to be completed before we can consider or review an EFC appeal. Next, if you have a zero EFC, you should not appeal. Financial aid awarding is based on financial need, eligibility, and availability of funds. Before you go to the, through the effort of compiling and submitting an EFC appeal, there are a few things you can do to understand how or if your financial aid could change. The first thing you can do is review your expected family contribution, or EFC. You can find your EFC in Cal Central under the Financial Aid and Scholarships Profile section. Welcome back to Cal Central. This should look familiar by now. Here's our dashboard. What we're looking for is the My Finances tab. Go ahead and click that. From there, we're going to go to View Awards. This is located on the middle card on your My Finances screen. Once you click View Awards, you want to scroll to the left side of the screen and search for Financial Aid and Scholarships Profile. There you could check what your expected family contribution should be. If it's zero, you don't need to appeal. A zero EFC means we have awarded you the maximum amount of grants and scholarships you are eligible for. Your EFC cannot be reduced below zero, and an EFC appeal will not result in a change in your financial aid awards. We encourage all students to apply for outside scholarships each and every year they are enrolled in college. We have a lot of resources that can help you through that process, including our Everything Scholarships and Outside Awards video and our scholarship search page. You can find it here. As we mentioned earlier, financial aid is based on numerous factors. Financial need and eligibility are just two of the factors that go hand in hand. To be considered for Berkeley grants and scholarships, you will need to demonstrate need and meet all the eligibility requirements for funding. This means you need to apply for aid be a U.S. citizen, a permanent resident, or dream student, have financial need, and be a California resident to be considered for Berkeley grants and scholarships. The residency office will determine whether you are a California resident once you complete the statement of legal residence. Until that determination is final, we will use the information you provided on your application to award you aid. Unfortunately, we are unable to award need-based Berkeley grants and scholarships to out-of-state students. Submitting an EFC appeal to the Financial Aid and Scholarships Office will not result in Berkeley grants or scholarships in these cases. If you have questions about how residency is determined, we encourage you to review the residency requirements on the Registrar's website. You can find that here. Once you have accepted admission, 
created your CalNet ID, and completed all the financial aid verification requirements, you are welcome to submit an EFC appeal for consideration. Please remember that we cannot consider appeals based on residency, consumer debt, zero EFCs, or those with outstanding verification requirements. We encourage you to follow the appeals requirements closely and provide all the required information. Submitting an incomplete appeal will only prolong the process for all students, so we thank you in advance for submitting all required information and documentation for consideration. We know that you need to make a decision about which college or university you're going to attend by May 1st, and that this deadline doesn't quite align with the availability of our EFC appeal form. To estimate how your new circumstances could impact your aid, you can use our online calculator. Get it? Calculator? Well, it's a really useful tool, and it's free to use, and you can find it at this link. Using an estimate of you and your parents' information, if you're a dependent student, enter your current income, household, residency, and housing type information. The calculator will use that information to provide an estimated aid package. There are online instructions defining each question to guide you at the aforementioned webpage. Please remember that this is only an estimate and your actual awards may vary. Still have questions? We have a comprehensive guide to expected family contribution appeals at our website. Check out this link. Thank you for spending time with us today. We hope you found this video useful and we look forward to having you join us in this coming academic year. Please take good care of yourselves and go Bears.